One of the best ways you can make your lawn and landscaping stand out is to have cleanly edged beds, but for many this is a tough job to do and you can get it done using only a string trimmer. So in this video I'm going to share some of my best tips and tricks to get this job done, just like a pro but in a way you can do it yourself. And before you do any trimming, you want to make sure that you're wearing long pants and safety glasses to protect your body and your eyes. You want to begin by making a single pass around the edge of each bed, but the important thing is to keep the head of your trimmer level. This is the same way that your mower cuts. You want to have a nice even result so that it blends into the main part of your lawn. You avoid angling the head. When you do this, you lose a lot of control of the trimmer, and this is when you'll dig in and cause very uneven results. Once you've done it a few times, this first pass goes very quickly and I like to do all my beds this way first before moving on to the second step. A simple string trimmer can give you a great looking edge all season long, but you've got to follow a couple of rules if you want to get it right. When you made that first flat pass, you kept the head of the trimmer horizontal, but now we want to flip the trimmer around and have the string be vertical. Now a common mistake people make is they try to angle the head again and create a sort of bevel that they can't maintain across the bed and that will create unevenness that won't look right. You want to keep that string so that it's pointed upright. That's going to give you a great looking edge and it's a lot easier to maintain. And this is a cordless trimmer so I'm able to put it under my arm which gives me some pretty good support while I'm doing it. If you're using a gas trimmer because of the exhaust you'll have to rest it on your shoulder or try to hold it in the air. But the important part is when you're done with this simple tip you get a nice clean edge and a good result. But don't worry if you mess it up a little bit the first few times because you will learn and the more you relax the quicker and better your result will be. You also may have noticed that I'm walking backwards while I'm edging. Now for me this is more comfortable and I find it gives me better control. Some people like to walk forwards but the most important thing is to walk in the direction that isn't where your debris is getting shot out. Another simple tip is around cleanup. Now if you want to do a really professional job you can use your blower every time. Now personally I don't always do it but if I get a lot of grass in the beds I will break it out but there's one key tip and that's to use very low power while you're doing the blowing because you just want to get the grass to get kind of out of the bed. You don't want to knock all your mulch out of there. One of the reasons so many people don't like string trimmers is because of the line. It's a pain to wind up and the old style heads just take time and cause a lot of frustration. But last year I released a video about this new gadget that fits onto just about any string trimmer. And now when you run out of line, you just push the new line through and you crank it into position. This thing is nothing short of amazing and it is so much less stressful and you can wind your line in less than 30 seconds and it comes out correctly every time. This kind of a situation can cause you a lot of problems. Now the grass alone isn't the issue, it's when you try to get rid of it. If you use your string trimmer right against a tree, you can penetrate the bark and you can cause disease and allow insects in there and ultimately cause the death of the tree. You can make an easy shield yourself in just a few minutes that allows you to trim right against the tree without causing the damage. Grab a two liter soda bottle, you're gonna cut the top off, then you're gonna cut a line right down the middle and you'll proceed to cut the bottom off as well. So you'll have a nice spring loaded collar that you can use to protect a tree when you're string trimming against it. And you can supercharge this design by peeling the label off, adding a piece of velcro and now it'll hold super tight when you use it on a tree. And to keep it ready to use you can store it right on your string trimmer. Having nicely edged beds makes a real difference in your yard's overall appearance and it's easy to do once you learn a few tips. So I hope this video was helpful and gave you some ideas that can make your trimming a little bit easier. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.